<laughs> All right, everybody, tense up. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna act the out of this. I promise. Yeah. Stop yeah. with me, Tom. The camera's on me now. <laughs> <laughs> what the f is the line? I forgot. Ms. Maximoff manipulates some gaffa to be shit. Ms. Maximoff manipulates molecular pilar to be shit. Would you like another one? Moving on. Uh, same thing that should happen to you. Psychological. Uh, Oh, mother Yep. See a smooth mother walking towards you. You speak your head. <laughs> He'd do it for me. Bam! Oh, <laughs> I wanted to punch it so bad! Oh, oh shit. Sorry. Ash. Fire in the hole. No. No. Oh, Just pretend that didn't happen. Stay here. Sorry, you hear people laughing. <laughs> people, people falling out of the bottom of frame is funny every time. While a great many people see you as heroes, there are some who would prefer the word vigilantes. The great thing Marvel has done, instead of putting all the superheroes in this movie, they've been able to match the superheroes up pretty well. Can you get them off me? Even though everyone's fighting all at the same time, they have to obviously do like insular sort of fight moments. This can't seem to miss. Well, first time for everything. Multiple contusions detected. Yeah, I detected that too. We've been spending months basically pre visiting it, and you know, basically where we'd go in on the computer and just plan the attack. And one of the complications about it is like just the sheer number of heroes you have fighting each other, finding those moments that we most wanted to see, and getting every hero a chance in the course of the film to kind of interact with each other and fight with each other. Uh, that was probably one of the hardest parts. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 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 Molti vi definiscano degli eroi. Ci sono persone che preferiscono la parola vigilanti. The Russos, you know, they make human stories with a superhero feel, as opposed to a superhero movie with, you know, human touches. Cap 2 Winter Soldier was a bit of a departure and really trying to make its own mark, and they've kind of reinvented it again. We needed to go in a radical direction if we were going to do another Captain America film. So we were strongly advocating for a Civil War storyline. But we wanted everybody to be both protagonists and antagonists. Mi sembri un po' sulla difensiva. È stata una giornata. It's not villain versus hero, it's friends, it's family. That's what makes such a good conflict. In this film, everything's changed. Non deve finire in uno scontro. Hai appena iniziato una guerra. While a great many people see you as heroes, there are some who would prefer the word vigilantes. Black Panther has been so incredibly exciting. In the comics, he's so ferocious. He's, a, he's one of the best trained martial artists in the Marvel Universe. Cap is based in old school martial arts like judo, karate, taekwondo, aikido. You've got Panther with the more kind of flowing martial arts. Like we're basing stuff off of capoeira. A lot of his acrobatic movement is capoeira, and a lot of a uh, lot of China, almost Chinese influence with kung fu used with him. There, that's good. I did some martial arts training, some fight training with the stunts as well. We turn everything a little bit. There, that's it. While a great many people see you as heroes, there are some who would prefer the word vigilantes. I'm gonna put a little coffee in him, but he's all right. 
right? When I showed up here for the first time and was doing a scene with Captain America and Falcon and all that, it's like, whoa. I turned into a bit of a 10 year old. It was pretty strange and really cool. And kind of the first time I thought, man, I really am part of it. This is awesome. It's Captain America. You. Right on. I think on the face of it, if you think of Ant-Man, you think, man, he's gonna be overmatched when he faces the other Avengers. But the truth is, the power to shrink is something that shouldn't be overlooked. I'm the boss, I'm the boss, I'm the boss. I'm the boss! While a great many people see you as heroes, there are some who would prefer the word vigilantes. So much of the Civil War story is told from Captain America's point of view. We've brought in Tony Stark to showcase that other side of that argument, and it's really the two of them and the people that team up with them. But at the same time, we thought it would be fun to introduce a third side, to introduce a character that audiences have wanted us to introduce for many, many years, who comes in and is really not agreeing with either side in particular and can represent sort of fresh eyes to see Tony's side of the argument, to see Cap's side of the argument, and frankly, to not necessarily care about either side of those arguments because he has his own agenda, and that's T'Challa the Black Panther. Kevin was like, hey, we're calling you <laughs> about this character that I think you're interested in. I think you know who I'm talking about. And I said, yeah, I think so. Like, are you interested in playing him? Yes. <laughs> It was really that simple. Chadwick is a really smart, interesting, dynamic guy. I think Marvel is so consistent at bringing on such fine actors, it really feels like he's added to this group. Right, yeah, that was good. And his presence on set, I think, raises the stakes a little bit for everybody. Growing up, I was a Black Panther fan. To see Black Panther come to life is really kind of like a dream come true. Chad gives him a great energy. He gives him a great confidence, a stoicness that I feel that character needs. In this film, what's exciting is the stakes become higher and higher. Capitano, le persone hanno paura. Natasha is a bit torn between either side. With Cap, they really have a relationship where she wants to reason with him. Stamne fuori, ti prego. But she sees Tony as a path of least resistance. Scusa, ho sentito male o mi hai dato ragione? Uh, posso ritrattare? I'm really glad to be a part of it. Sharon Carter, she's a little sassier. And Seguitemi! You get to do a little bit of fighting in this. <laughs> it's awesome. What I like about Wanda is the idea of her being terrified of her own abilities. It's really fun to play with. Sai bene cosa sta per scatenarsi. Vuoi veramente che tutto finisca in uno scontro? There's been a few moments where you kind of look around and, oh, I'm in good company and this is rad, all right. So I guess when you said you'd do it yourself, you meant you'd do it yourself. You are not used to the truth, are you? I got a look at your suit, Vibranium Weave. I'm very impressed. You realize that this puts you under the Accord's jurisdiction. How long do your psychological evaluations usually take? Why are you bored? Not currently, but my prisoner and I have a plane to catch. I realize you're not one for politics. I think there's a chance you may be a bit naive. Congratulations, Your Highness. He got extradition. Yes, Ms. Romanov. I'm sure I have much to learn. Nice save. 